Welcome to Manny's TV Talk, where we will talk about all of our favorite reality TV shows and news surrounding them. Grab a snack, a drink, and get comfortable because this starts now. You violate and disrespect your home. I apologize for that. It was about you, and I took that moment and I made it about me. Tisha, I apologize to you for throwing the drink on you. I violated Hello, your Hello, everybody, and welcome. So today we're going to be talking about the new episode of Love and Marriage Huntsville. That's season six, episode 30. Okay, so we pick up in this episode still in Houston, Texas. Nell and Chris Fletcher are setting up a trust-building exercise game, and Nell tells Chris that she invited Kiki and didn't tell anyone. So she's probably on her way. For now, everybody else is gathered, and they are making people who don't really get along work together. So they get Tisha and Stormy, Melody and Martell, and Nell has someone fall, and the other person is supposed to catch them. Now, Melody was funny. She fell right away. She didn't even try. And then Martell actually thought he would be catched by Melody, but he he wasn't. Marceau and Courtney were successful, and so were Tisha and Stormy, but then you guys... Kiki arrives. She came in saying, hola, hola, as if nothing had happened, and Tisha is in total disbelief. Nell knows that she screwed up because she tells them why Kiki was invited, but, but the whole time her voice was shaking as she was doing that. Nell says, uh, because this is a team building exercise, Kiki should stay. You know, she reached out to her to come, so she thought, why not? She gives Kiki the floor in case there's anything Kiki wants to say to the other ones, and Kiki does take the floor, and she apologizes to everyone for what she did at the barbecue, especially Maurice and Kimmy for disrespect their home but she did also apologize for Tisha because she did throw that drink in her face after the apology Kimmy and Maurice say okay we appreciate it but the apology a month later like that is crazy as far as Tisha when Nell asks if she accepts the apology Tisha says sure and then walks away Nell was crying as all of this was happening I thought that was really interesting. So in the kitchen, Tisha is crying as well because she feels played because Nell and Mel knew that she was coming this whole time and never told her. She So Nell goes to talk to Tisha and she says, do y'all want her here? She says that she didn't agree with her coming, but Kiki had spoken to Melody already. So I'm going to break the fourth wall for just a little bit. I don't think Nell wanted to have Kiki there. I think it was production and perhaps Melody who were responsible for Kiki being there. But to go back to the episode, Tisha says that she understands that Nell is new, but she did expect for, for her to tell her beforehand. Tisha feels betrayed. She feels played. And Nell, who is usually very argumentative, says, you're right, and I apologize. She kept saying I apologize over and over again, so I believe her. So Nell goes back to the living room and says she allowed Kiki to be here, but because the group is going to be divided because of this, she won't be able to stay in the house. And then Stormy, in her bad attitude, says, that's fine, she's staying with us, she's staying with us. Kiki says that's fine, but no one's going to dictate where she's um, where she goes. And then Melody starts to go off also and tries to defend Kiki. But Marceau very calmly says, Melody, you more than anyone know that there was a situation with you in which you didn't want to be around certain people. And, that's be and we didn't understand you because we knew only one side. But now that we know both sides, we get you what like why you were feeling that way. After that talk that they had privately, he now understands more about Melody. So Martel, that triggered Martel. When he starts to go off, he got very aggressive, looked like he was about to throw some hands. He says, what are you talking about? And Martel, like he was screaming at the top of his lungs. He starts screaming to Miss Snell, saying, you haven't ever asked Melody what she did to me. There isn't two sides to the story. There's just the truth. Y'all only focus on what I did. He is screaming in Nell's face. And then Nell starts to scream as well. I mean, she was already upset about what had just happened and says that um, I have to get out of here before I smack Martell in his mother effing face. That's how bad they were screaming at each other. What Martell kept saying was, why haven't y'all ever asked Melody what she did to me? Why are y'all always focused on what I did? So that's why he it was 
being very crazy. Melody is asking, like, what is going on? Because she was somewhere in the kitchen. And Nell says, he's screaming at me because he says that I don't hold you accountable. So let me ask you once and for all so he can shut up. Did you cheat on him? Melody says, no. The only time she talked to someone else was when the relationship was over after Martell did what he did so Miss Nell turns to Martell and says there you go Martell I asked her in camera now leave me alone Martell starts to go off again and Nell says that he is a narcissist but Martell says that he says I cheated and she cheated so Melody says whoa, 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 wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute excuse me what are you talking about and Martell says something about an apartment so Melody says that back in 2008 she caught him in a car cheating with her uh, with someone else on her so she left him before coming back to him he says that Mel used to leave the house a lot and even though he never caught her cheating he feels like her going to hotels at very late at night must only mean one thing because her behavior really changed and Melody says that she changed her behavior because he became an a-hole you guys Martel was going off it, he was so unhinged he was really really mad like the way he was screaming was ridiculous Stormy says but you cheated first do you understand that but what Martel is trying to say is that they were still married when she cheated on him so regardless of him cheating first he doesn't think that should be an excuse that he thinks that she should never cheated even though he did which is kind of crazy but melody says that she was already looking for a divorce attorney martel even makes a point and he asks miss nell if she ever cheated on chris because remember chris cheated on her so he's asking if nell cheated on him after she found out what he did and she said no sir and then martel asks how long did it take for you guys to get back together and she says 18 months and martel screams again and he says for her it was just weeks she just waited weeks until she cheated on me okay also as martel is still going off with the group melody is in the kitchen and marcel had just told her that Tisha felt betrayed and blindsided that Kiki was invited. So Melody makes sure to tell Tisha that she had nothing to do with Kiki being there and that she did not invite her. Now on the flashbacks, it does show that Mel mentioned the trip to Kiki and told her to talk to Miss Nell about it. So I don't know. Okay, so the group then goes to see some horses and ride. The group came back together, but Kiki, she was just strolling around, you know. What's really cool is that this wasn't just a horse back riding activity, but there's also a lady there who's a relationship specialist for later of psychotherapist to be exact. But for now, they are riding the horses. Poor Kimmy was scared of them, so she didn't do it. But I love that the rest of them did this activity as someone who loves horses as well. It was pretty cool. In the meantime, like I said, Kimmy didn't ride, but she was talking to the uh, with the doctor and she was really bonding with her and that's how you know she's a good psychotherapist so after riding horses they eat dinner but then we see them do a group therapy activity the therapist feels a lot of bad energy they were all gathered around a fire a little fire in the middle Nell goes first and says that today's been a hard day because she was approached to invite Kiki she didn't really want to but she did and now that she's here Tisha and Marshall are upset and that is upsetting her the therapist asks Kiki if she wants to say anything but Kiki's energy is really bad she has the wrong spirit honey she says no I got nothing to say I apologize that's it and that's all Stormy once again tries to defend her and says that she feels like Kiki's energy is great. Okay, now that's how you know she's delusional. Um, really, Stormy, to say Kiki's energy is great is a little bit too far. Stormy says that it's hard to show up and be correct because the past keeps coming back up. She says that everybody should move forward and the cousin should be the one that had the conversation. Now, I do think what Stormy is saying is crazy, but I do appreciate Stormy advocating for someone in the group who is outnumbered. Even though Kiki is wrong, I do appreciate that. It was a nice gesture. Marceau says that there is love there for sure. But to be honest, the only way to heal with Kiki, the only thing to do right now is like not do anything. Not doing anything is doing something because that gives people time to heal. Like don't bring her around because she is not wanted at this moment. He says that there is some other healing going on with this group like for example melody apologizing to tisha earlier was huge and he likes that he and melody have become 
very good at communicating. Melody says, yeah, you know, we communicated very well. And once again, Melody tries a little too hard to convince us that she didn't invite Kiki. So I kept noticing that. But it was great. Tisha, Mel, and Marceau are able to communicate. And they are really getting along more than ever. The therapist asks, well, how were Tisha and Mel and Marceau, how were y'all able to communicate better and not be so hostile with each other? And it really came down to time. You know, so again, this is what probably should happen with Marceau, Tisha, and Kiki. Just time will tell what happens. That was a very great activity. It was very valuable for everyone except Kiki because she feels like she doesn't know where she stands with certain people in this group. She says that she feels it's very unfortunate that one incident is defining all her relationships. One incident that took years to build up she says that she apologizes for doing it but she's not sorry about it but anyway you guys that was the end of the episode for sure a great dramatic explosive episode i mean with kiki coming um and all that drama and then mel and martel screaming about who cheated who didn't cheat that's crazy but yeah it was a really good episode very entertaining so my question for you guys is i have two questions the first is what do y'all make about kiki coming should she not have come should she have come what do y'all think about that and then secondly what do y'all think about melody and martel's story about cheating i definitely think that he cheated first but i do think that there must have been I think both of them at some point were having sex with other people even though they were still legally married. So does that excuse it if he cheated first? Let me know what you think. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you on next time. You have a great one. Bye.